name is Carmen and I'm the designer behind New Leaf Designs. Welcome to this tutorial video of the Cozy Moments Shawl. Uh, we are working on our lace pattern for pattern D. Now I've already knit a repeat and it features some cables. And I'm going to start the second repeat together with you guys. And now you can use a cable needle for this stitch, but you can also knit it without a cable needle. So I'm going to show you both methods. I have some cable needles here. I really like plastic cable needles because they are really light and are less likely to slip out of your work. I have this one, but you can also use this shape of a cable needle. If you don't have a cable needle, you can also take uh, a bobby pin, for example, and bend it open so it's kind of like a V shape. But as I'm going to show you, you don't need a cable needle. So let's get started. You will be at row one of the pattern which is row 82 of your shawl this pattern is repeated over eight rows and six stitches but you're only gonna knit 15 rows of the pattern so what that means so 15 is not two full repeats because that would be 16 rows so you're gonna knit one full repeat so rows one through eight then you're going to knit rows 1 through 7 and uh, the 8th row of that repeat is going to be a knit row instead of a purl row but that's all mentioned in the pattern um, so that should not be too much of a problem but I will uh, remind you again just in case. So let's get started with row 1. So starting off with row 1 and knitting the four edge stitches, slipping the marker. Now we're going to look at row one of our chart. So the first box is empty, so it's a knit stitch. Then you'll see the first cable stitch, and you'll see that the cable goes from, from left to right. So that means that that second stitch needs to be moved to the right. And you can see it here in the very first repeat that I did. Now I'm going to show you this with a cable needle first. So with a cable needle, you take one stitch off, take it to the back of your work, then you're going to knit the next stitch so that's to the left now, and then you knit the stitch off your cable needle. So you're going to hold a lot of needles at once here, so that might be a bit fiddly. Now for the next cable stitch, this stitch is going from right to left. So we need to take this stitch off and hold it to the front, then knit the second stitch, and then knit the stitch from the cable needle. And that stitch now slants to the left side. And then the last stitch of the repeat is simply knit. So that is one full repeat and that's how I do it with the cable needle. Now I'm going to show you how to do it without the cable needle and I'm going to show you in continental style first. So knit one, then our cable stitch which is cable to the right, we need to knit our second stitch first. And to do that, I'm simply going to take that front loop 
and knit through it. See, I've taken just that loop and the, the um, first stitch is actually still on the needle and I'm going to knit into that stitch now. Slide them both off the needle, kind of tug it a little bit and then you'll see that those stitches are twisted much like the ones that we did with the cable. Now the other one, which is going to be left slanted, we will need to have this stitch on the front, which means that we also we need to knit the second stitch first, but we need to take it, but we need to go around the back of the first stitch to do that. So I'm gonna go around the back into that front loop and this is uh, kind of tricky because you can really split your yarn easily on this one. So I'm gonna do that one more time. So I'm gonna go around the back into that front loop and knit it. Feel, feel free to kind of stretch your loops so you can get in there. And then that first stitch, we are going to knit through the front loop. And there we have it. And knit the sixth stitch. And I'm gonna show you again in throwing style. So knit one. And now we are at our cable to the right. So we need to knit this stitch first and we can just insert our needle through the front loop and knit that stitch. Don't slide any stitches off and then knit into that first stitch like so and slip both of them off. Then the second cable, this one needs to be moved to the left hand side and needs to be visible on the front. So we are going to go behind that one into the front loop of the next one and knit that. And now you really have to maneuver your stitches so you can pull up that loop and then knit into the first one. Slide them both off. And that's how you do it. Now, these rows will probably take you way longer than a lace pattern row because the cabling just takes a little bit of time to get used to. And even if you're used to it, it will still take you a little bit longer. But don't let that discourage you. Um, this is quite an advanced pattern. So just take your time. And uh, you can complete this row. And then I will knit the next row as well, or purl. And then I'll meet you back on the third row of the chart. All right, so in row three, there will be no new stitches. So we'll be knitting the same cable stitches, just in a different place. And I'm going to show you what we are doing on the first repeat. So we just did, we just did this bit, which corresponds to this bit of the first repeat. So the middle stitch is going outward, and now we're going to have those cable stitches go a little bit more outward again. So we are going to do the same stitches. So this stitch needs to be cabled to the right. So we need to insert our needle through the front loop and knit that. And then knit the first stitch and slide them both off the needle. And then we have two knit stitches. And then we need to cable this stitch to the left hand side, which means we need to knit the second stitch first 
and we need to go behind the first stitch, insert in that front loop, wrap your yarn and kind of stretch that loop so you can scoop your yarn out of there without catching the first stitch. And then knit the first stitch and slide them both off the needles. And that is one repeat. Now I'm going to do that again, throwing style, because that might look a little bit different. So this stitch needs to be cabled to the right like that. So we are inserting our needle, wrapping our yarn and pulling that loop through, then knitting the first stitch, sliding them both off. Then knit two, which is the easy part of this chart. And then we are at, I find this the most difficult stitch. So we need to cable this one to the left hand side, which means we need to go behind into the front loop of that second stitch, wrap your yarn around and then really maneuver your loop so that you don't split that first stitch and then really be careful not to twist this first stitch knit through the front loop like that and there you have it and that is the repeat of the third row and as i'm already on the second repeat of the chart you can really see the pattern developing here and it's ugh, i just love it so much and i hope you like it too so I'll go ahead and finish row three then also finish the pearl row four and meet me back at the start of row five so welcome to row five of our chart and i can really see my yarn changing color and that's so exciting. And row five of our chart uh, is the start of the reverse pattern. So in rows one and one and three, we created the cables going outwards, and now we're creating the cables going inwards. So let's take a look at that first one because that first stitch is going to be cabled to the left side so we are going to go behind that stitch into that second stitch feel free to just manipulate those loops with your fingers so you can get in wrap out, wrap your yarn around your needle and pull up a loop and then knit that first stitch and I always tend to kind of tug the yarn a little bit so that the stitches are nice and neat now we knit two stitches and then we cable this stitch back here so we are going to go into that second stitch into the front loop like this wrap your yarn pull up a loop don't let it go too loose and then knit that first stitch and slide them both off the needle and you can see that it kind of comes back to the middle like that now i'm gonna do that again as always in throwing style this time so we need to cable this stitch to the left which means going around the back of that stitch into the front loop of that second stitch wrapping your yarn around and pulling up a loop then knitting in that first stitch sliding those off the needle knit two stitches then 
the stitch needs to come to the right hand side so we are going to knit through the front loop of that second stitch and then knit into the first stitch and there you have the second repeat so you are going to knit this row so knit row five then purl row six while still knitting those edge stitches and then please join me for row seven okay so we're back at the start of row seven i'm almost at the end of my lace section because i've because i'm already at the second repeat so i'm going to start row seven with you guys and in this row we are going to bring those stitches even further inward like here so first we knit one stitch and then we need to move this stitch to the left hand side and it needs to lay on front so we're going to go behind that stitch into the next one wrap your yarn around pull up a loop and knit that second or knit that first stitch like so we're going to go across the front of the first stitch over to the second stitch pick up that front loop and wrap your yarn around and scoop out that loop then knit the first stitch and there we have it so you can really see that cable coming together and knit one stitch to finish the repeat now i'm gonna do that again knitting throwing style knit one stitch then go behind the first stitch into the second one wrap your yarn around and pull up a loop and be really careful not to snag on that first stitch then knit in that first stitch there you go now the second cable stitch which goes to the right so we go into that second stitch wrap your yarn draw up a loop and into that first stitch slide them both off and knit one and that is the repeat of the seventh row of our chart now if you're uh, like me and you're at the second repeat of your chart then the row after this row is going to be a knit row so as i explained a little bit at the beginning of this tutorial video the chart is eight rows long but we're only going to repeat it for 15 rows so this is going to be the last row if you're on the second repeat so please just take a look at your pattern and um, we want to be knitting the wrong side like knitting all stitches so you get that nice pearl line on the right side so that's what it should look like and if you'll check out the pattern um, there's a picture next to the chart so it needs to look like that with pearl lumps in the front so i just wanted to um, mention that one last time so go ahead and finish your row seven and then as i said if you're on the first repeat pearl the next row if you're on the second repeat knit the next row so pay extra attention to the written pattern because it will say it very clearly and then I'll see you back in the next video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it 
and please do share your pictures with hashtag cozy moments shawl and hashtag val mal and be sure to also share your pictures in the facebook groups of scapius in the international group or in the dutch group i'm so looking forward to seeing your pictures and your progress so be sure to share them and i'll see you next time bye bye